Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome to Wild Dominion, a park paying homage to Africa and its wildlife made by Jasmine from MNJ Games. This is the first park by Jasmine that I'm spotlighting on the channel, so let's all give her a nice welcome and also try to check out her City Skyline channel, link in the title. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and show the creator of this park some love in the comments. Also consider joining the Baggett Brigade, our Discord server, with the link in the description. And without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's go on a little coaster safari in Wild Dominion. And welcome to Wild Dominion. It's been a while since I've seen the, the park tour forum uh, from uh, M&J Games. Uh, so I don't quite remember the layout of the park. I do remember a few of the rides, especially that Woody over there. Apparently its name is Bar Barbarian, and uh, I, I seem to remember that it was quite good. So yeah, I'm really excited to get back into this park. Honestly, Jasmine has done such a great job with that park. Um, I think that she definitely has some amazing theming and architecture skills and um, and I would love to see more of that in the future because uh, look at that hotel the Soleil Suites awesome coffee just before you get into the park with an interior as well nice self-serve authentic fresh African coffee Nice. Oh, I think I can see an invert from here. Potentially an Intamin wing coaster over there. Nice. We obviously have our Woody over there as well. And a dive coaster as well. Nice. A few drop towers. Yeah, look at this. Lions roar. Looks like a big park as well. We better be <laughs> we better be get going. Really love love the vibe of it. It's really cool. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get in. Little turnstiles. And let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Nice first view from the plaza. Really, really nice, actually. Coffee again. A cafe, as you guys say. Nice, some of them are shut. Sparkling water. Free tap water. Tap water. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna be controversial, but tap water is disgusting. It's not, not only is it disgusting, but it, in some countries it's actually unsafe. <laughs> anyway, drop zone, right? So you have the two drop towers right next to one another. It's pretty cool what you've done here. What's that over there? Carousel, claw machine. Uh, I'm quite lost, to be honest. I don't know where, where, what direction I should head in. Oh, uh, Lion's Roar, so that's our invert. Wild Safari, and Barbarian. I think we'll head to Barbarian first. Did you know elephant tusks are actually teeth? Yes, I did know that, actually. Is that like, okay, security office, anything else? Okay, nice. Let's just get to that area. Barbarian. Little CCI. Or potentially PCC, actually. Probably CCI. Um, yeah, classic wooden. With a nice playground. Oh, actually, I do recognize that. Uh, Pretty sure this is from my uh, playground sets. Thank you so much for using that. Yeah, the sea cells as well. 
It's been a while since I saw these. I'm pretty much most of, of like, m most people have forgotten that I've got those on my workshop, but yeah, they're, they're a pretty cool blueprint, especially this one I, I was quite happy with. Even though it's, like, super small, I think it packs uh, a lot in um, a little compact space. Same for the seesaw, pretty good. They were in the uh, Village Forestier, the, the little um, forest village in, uh, in Parc Ciel Bleu. So let's enter the queue for Barbarian. Nice little station. You've even covered the, the operator's booth with panels, I think. Yes, I think that's what they are. Oh no, basic shapes, actually. Same thing, to be honest. They're the same texture. Whoa! Yeah, definitely CCI or PTC. Let's see the stats. The stats are almost green across the board. Um, G-forces are quite nice. The laterals are a bit high in my opinion, but it's kind of fine. Let's go on Barbarian! A nice barbarian to start the day and yes it was a good woody like it, it really screamed classic uh, CCI or PTC woody I would say CCI this layout felt a little bit more modern a little bit more uh, something like Tonel de Zeus in uh, at Parc Asterix. Uh so yeah definitely definitely a CCI but yeah I, I like that it was a really nice uh, Nice coaster. Usually I'm not a real big fan of, uh, of wooden coasters in real life, so... You know, but uh, yeah, it, it was really nice for a Planet Coaster coaster. That's, that's, uh, that's for sure. Burgers and shakes. Shake that burger. <laughs> what am I saying? Where are the burgers, though? Th that's false advertising there, Jasmine. You, you're, you're saying that you have burgers and you, you just don't. Where are my burgers? You have shakes, that's for sure. But burgers? Nuh-uh. Where are my burgers? I want my burgers. <laughs> so what do we have here? This is more like a quiet little space. I like that. <laughs> what was that accent? Like that. Nice little architecture on this one, really African. At the time of recording this, I'm about to head to Fantasia Land again, and I'm staying in Hotel Matamba, and uh, in the Africa, deep in Africa section of the park, and it, it screams that. Let's see. Oh, nice. Conserve Africa. Visit AWF. Dot org AWF Now I was about to say it uh, is it like Greenpeace but no it's not Okay I'm actually donating to to Greenpeace I've been donating to Greenpeace for 2 years in a row I think It's nothing it's 10 euros per uh, per uh, per month but you know I'm doing my part I like to think that I'm doing my part at least 
while Dominion is dedicated to Africa, the motherland of all humanity, African wildlife needs your help. Visit awf.org. What was that? And, uh, dot org. There, there you go. To learn about the poaching crisis, right? Yeah. Look for more screens about Africa throughout the park. Yes. The, okay. The screens. Sure. Consideration. I like the design of those. They're really great. So I'm assuming that those are like all the countries in in Africa. That's nice. I'm imagining that those screens would be like um, films about you know Africa documentaries. That's what I mean. A lot of countries. That's nice. Raising awareness. That's what we love. Nice little bridge there. <laughs> you know, being really, like, like serious with all the African stuff. And, and then, oh, nice little bridge. Let's see. Th that part of the park really screams, like, Planet Zoo to me. I would, to be honest, I would love um, to get Planet Zoo someday to do some sort of those habitats, you know, like bridges going into the habitats and seeing um i don't know animals in the water i guess <laughs> i'm not really knowledgeable about zoos but I, I will definitely become knowledgeable about zoos once uh we get to planet zoo i'm actually really looking um like i, I would love to go to paradisa uh in uh, in belgium uh it's probably one of the largest zoos in uh in um in europe and of course next year i'm trying to go to cole martin but for totally different reasons but we might as well do the zoo when, while we're there uh well i was just saying random stuff about my life <laughs> we stumbled upon the, uh leopard scratch <laughs> sorry i shouldn't laugh um uh, i'm gonna call that leopards um but yeah it, it's um it's our BNF dive coaster, and um, yeah, I've, I've learned to appreciate those. Like, at first I was not really underwhelmed with Oblivion, because I definitely grayed out on it. But uh, um, then, oh, there's a bar over there. Bar bars are my place. Like, if you do a bar in your park, you, you, you've won my heart, really. Uh, but yeah, um, then I went on uh, Baron 1898 at Efteling, and that was probably one of the best rides in the park to be honest just the the immersion in the storyline was, was great coaster wise i definitely um preferred uh yoris and the drag what am i saying why am i just like casually saying things about my life i, I should talk about the park uh micro drafts macro drafts Ma macro yeah micro pro probably drafts uh ciders ciders are from france hi uh, beer, Lagers, what's the difference be between uh, beer and Lagers? I'm not familiar with Lagers. Mixed cocktails, that's more, that's for me. Uh, so peach, peach Sangria, Berry Sangria, Strawberry Rita, Raspberry Rita, Mint Julep, Blueberry, oh, bleh. sorry. <laughs> I, I've, I've just seen like Blueberry Mojito and uh, Raspberry Mojito and, and j no, no. I, I believe, like, the last time I, I, I was in America, um, we stopped, like, on the way from Miami to Orlando, and um, I'm pretty sure that there was a Burger King um, uh, um, on the way, like, um, in on the motorway, and um, or on the freeway, if you want to say it the American way. Um, and... There was, um, I think it was raspberry iced tea. This was probably the most disgusting um, drink I've ever had, ever. It was just, why am I talking about my life? We're, we're here at Leopard, if I can, there we go. Leopard Scrouch, I'm just gonna call that Leopard. Uh, it's almost green across the board again, like, for a dive coaster, it's actually pretty hard. 
And uh, let's see about the stats. The stats are really, really good. 50 meters, that's a high ride. I can't wait to go on it. Let's take a ride on Leopard's Crouch. I'm so sorry. Yes, a really nice dive coaster. Something I would just want to point out that I've also noticed on uh, Barbarian over there was that in some places, uh, if I can find them, I think, yeah, like right there, for instance, like the, the, the car is so wide that you can just imagine it. Uh, I, I believe that some of the tree clearances uh, isn't right and... Um, that, that's fine, that's totally fine, but just think about that in the future, if uh, the, e even there as well. Um, and uh, it's totally fine, it's not a big deal at all. And maybe as well the brake run is not super realistic. I know you're not going as realistic as Michael, um, but it, it, it's definitely something to, to keep in mind for... Uh, the future. Okay, save the big cats. Donate today. Yes, sir. I can't donate. I'm I'm in Planko, but the the thought's there. The thought's there. The thought that the it's the thought that counts. That's how you you guys say it in uh, in English. Oh, I didn't read that. African leopard is. Status is threatened. Population 700,000. Not good. I'm gonna drown my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> my, my despair knowing this information. Uh, okay, what is this? Hold on, Wild Safari. This is like a car ride or something. Oh, it, it, it is a bus ride. Wait, what? I did not see that coming at all. Okay, I'm gonna go on that and talk while we're there. And let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're choice of you just there. Uh, I had to do that just so we could see... A lot of the surroundings because the first person view was not great, but look at this! Can I? No, I cannot move the camera, unfortunately. I really like how you hit the track underneath the path, uh, the path, the, the ground. And just did some uh, terrain paint just so that you could uh, imagine that this was the road, the dirt road. I can see some hippopotamuses. Hippop 
hippopotamus is I'm not sure about the plural of this have some more over there really like this like using the 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 stu studio tour ride to do a safari I think it's it's a really nice idea you see some crocodiles in the water uh oh struggling a little bit nice bridge on the left calm down <laughs> oh we have several stations I didn't know that you could do that with the with this ride. Oh, we have a little dip in the terrain right there. That's a nice station as well. That's cool. Actually, maybe we should just drop off there. And there we go. I have no idea where I ended up, but Oh, okay, so this is the invert, this is the other ride. Uh, which one should we do first? I think, like, we, we should probably... Right. <laughs> right, that bridge. That bridge is brilliant. I love it. Probably could do with some more seating, some more um, bins and stuff. But otherwise, the architecture of that bridge is magnificent. I love it. Right, so I think we have the plaza right in front of us. Let's just see. Yes. Did I? Yes, I did see that. Nice little backstage area right there. So what do we have? Rampage, okay. And Lion's Roar. That's what I want to see. Lion's Roar. So, Lion status, vulnerable. Population is about 20,000. Oh. The drums. So suspended invert. Let's take the quick cue. Wow! Wow! Look at that in the distance. What the hell? Oh, the architecture in the distance looks great. I really love that. And that's our invert for today. Let's -a check it is out. Lions roar. Yeah. Nice little station. Yeah, woohoo! So let's check those stats. No, that's Valentine Colvin, I think it was called. Uh, almost green across the board again. The stats are a little bit high on the vertical side. Maybe on the laterals as well, actually, now that I think about it. But otherwise, a really nice ride. Let's go on Lions Roar. That was honestly probably my favorite coaster so far. I think it was brilliant. I think it didn't have any problem. Probably a little fast in the, on the last inversion, the last cor corkscrew right there. But otherwise, I think it was really, really great. I love the name as well. Uh, kind of echoing the roar of, uh, of B&M inverts or, or B&M in general, actually, now that I think about it. 
But yeah, really, really great ride. I really enjoyed that. I'm usually not a fan of BNM inverts, but I, I think I, I'm not sure yet. But I, I'm pretty sure that they ever either have to be um, tighter for me to like them. Like the layout has to be tighter, or maybe it's all about you know being bigger and and like bolder. Like, like this, to be to be honest, even though like that's probably the same height as um, what's it called, as uh, Osiris at uh, Parc Asterix. So we're entering the Arabian area, and it looks nice. We have a BNM hyper. I think, oh no, a B&M uh, sit, uh, sit down coaster. Nice, I didn't know that we would have that, but that's nice. Nice use of music. The colors of this area are great as well. What is this? It's, it's like a whole different park. What the hell? I'm loving this. It's amazing. Love the use of the magic lamp. The Pink Palace Restaurant. Wow. Selfie zone. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It kind of reminds me, like, um, of that place in uh, near Miami. Uh, I think it's called the uh, Villa Biscaya, something like this, with the 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 gardens inside of the um, the home. I think it was a a great thing to see. And we have Blue Racer. Did you know Blue Racer is a type of constructor? What is a constrictor? Is it like a uh, snake, I assume? Seeing that snake over there? I'm gonna assume that it is, yeah. Let's see. Love that architecture here. Look at that shot. It's insane. It's so great. It, it really feels like we're in a different park. Love the foliage work as well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've got launched one as well. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see. So we have Blue Racer. Blue Racer is obviously green across the board. Uh, the lateral G forces are a little bit high, but that's fine. Let's go on Blue Race Viper. Why did I say? Hold on. Pause. <laughs> Yeah, it did say Blue Racer, okay. So why did you ch change it to Blue Viper here? That's alright, let's just go on Blue Racer or Viper. Yep, definitely on the more uh, intense side of rides. But look at that shot from outside, looking at the savannah. Really nice shot. Honestly, it was really great. The only complaint that I have again is a few uh, clipping issues and, uh, you know, having a bush, uh, like, right 
there and also a rock like right there like that that was probably the most important thing here i think i believe that this is terrain uh my uh i actually do not know i was about to say something i have no idea but to the, just keep that in mind i really love the launch really reminded me of um uh, the Incredible Hulk at uh, Islands of Adventure, and uh, yeah, no, otherwise it is a quite a nice ride. Again, the brake run could be a little more realistic, but I'm I'm just nitpicky, to be honest. And probably what is going to be the last ride of the park. Man of Morphosis. No, that's not the last ride, my bad. Take a tour through Queen Lavender's Butterfly Garden. Yes, sir. In this gentle bo boat ride for all ages. Yes, that's that's the sort of thing I want to see. Let's -a see. Metamorphosis. Yes, a boat ride. Let's -a see. It is really nice indeed. I love the effects of, uh, of the butterflies, like with the different colors as well. Oh, going to the palace. I thought this was going to be a more of a small world type of ride with no drops, but apparently I was wrong. Really nice use of the effects, the fireflies and everything. And we let's see the splashdown actually. Poor butterflies. <laughs> They're about to be soaked. That's the thing I don't get with Planet Coaster. Why is the, the, the thing so slow? Nice waterfall. Maddie would be proud. Another little drop. I'm not gonna wait for this one, otherwise we're we'll be we're gonna be here all day. Nice little boat ride. I really like this. Oh, Bets. I'm sorry, Jasmine, I didn't see that. That's, uh... So... 6.30... Let's take another quick tour around to see if that really... Yeah, because of the lighting. Okay, yeah, okay, I can see that. I should read stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, this is much nicer in there. Yeah, all the lighting that you've done. The fireflies as well. Really nice effects. Yeah, definitely a really, really great ride. Actually, because... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> because usually I I tend to forget to tour the parks at night. We're going to leave it at night and do the last ride at night as well. Especially because it looks like we are having some really great lighting on this uh, on this ride. Really love how peaceful it all feels. Wow, with the sunset in the distance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Rampage. Did you know a rhino rampage is a type of stampede? Well, now I do. Just before we get on rampage. Right, so this was the, the other end of the safari. What do we have in here? Gifts and souvenirs. Bottled water, sparkling water. Oh, what? There's a wall. Okay, sure. Why not? ATM, toilets, nice, nice little shop. And let's go on Rampage. Should we go there? I think we should. Oh, it's only this. Okay, well, <laughs> short queue. Didn't expect that. Okay, so let's see. Rampage. Really green across the board. Wow, 853 excitement. That's a lot. 
What about the results? We have really high G-forces. That's all right. Let's just get a ride on Rampage. What a ride to end the park. It really made me hyped for uh, Hyperion at uh, Energylandia. Uh, it, it really is a, uh, a really, really great... Um, what's it called? A wing, an intimate wing coaster. Really airtime-centric. Yeah, really nice ride. I especially love the lighting package on, the, on, on this thing. Let's go through the exit, and that's us. Oh, nice. I think we are about... No, okay. But yeah, a really, really nice way to finish the park. Um, to be honest, I, uh, I thought that this park was going to be way smaller than it actually is. <laughs> it's actually a huge park. I mean, look at that. Like, wow, it's like all diagonal, so it's not like your usual rectangle-shaped park or um, square-shaped park. It, it's really, really nice. And um, I, I, I definitely think that um, the the best area is all of over there. Like, e even though the, the, the rock work over there was uh, questionable... Uh, I, I definitely think that the most beautiful area was the Arabian area, and uh, and for for really good reasons. But my favorite ride was definitely Lion's Roar. Like, usually I'm not a fan of B&M inverts, so uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's saying a lot. Like, I I love this ride so much. Maybe a little bit more foliage would have would have been good, but I really like the interaction with the bridge and. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. I, I think that was probably the only um, ride that I didn't really have any complaints uh, uh, with. So, yeah, great job, Jasmine, to be honest. I, uh, I, I'd forgotten how good this park was, and, uh, and I absolutely loved touring it. Let's all congratulate Jasmine in the comments for her wonderful work on this creation. Also, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to see more Planet Coaster and Theme Park related content. This has been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!